kindergarten friends. This is Mrs. Duda. Um, I am going to read today the book called Parts. It's by Ted Arnold and it's one of my favorite books. It's so hilarious because this poor kid doesn't know what's going on. Hopefully you guys know more than he does. And I also need some help from you guys. If you could help me out by doing some rhyming, that would be amazing. So if I stop for a second and give you a moment, then you can put in the word that you think that would rhyme there. So parts, hearts, um, car, far, you know, rhyming, super fun, right? Here we go, Parts by Ted Arnold. I just don't know what's going on or why it has to be, but every day it's something worse. What's happening to me? Oh, look, he's real worried. He's very anxious, concerned. I think it was three days ago I first became aware that in my comb were caught a couple pieces of my hair. Okay, what made him worry about that? I don't know. I stared at them amazed and more than just a bit appalled to think that I was only five and starting to go bald. He's not going bald, is he? I mean, that's pretty normal, right? He thinks he's going bald. Okay, then later on, I don't recall exactly when it was, I lifted up my shirt and found this little piece of fuzz. What's the fuzz in his belly button? Yeah, that's just lint. Why is he worried about that? I stared at it, amazed and wondered, what's this all about? But then I understood. It was my stuffing coming out. He thinks he's stuffed with like a teddy bear. You guys know better than that, right? You're, you don't have stuffing in you like a teddy bear. Right? Well, let's find out. Next day when I was outside playing with the water hose, I saw that little bits of skin were peeling from my, look at what he's got peeling. Toes were peeling from my toes. He's all nervous again. He seems like a little nervous kid. I, I understand that, I get it. I stared at them amazed and then I gave a little groan to think that pretty soon I might be peeled down to the bone. See, look, he thinks he's gonna be a skeleton. All the skin's gonna peel off and he's gonna be peeled down to bone. Then yesterday, before my bath, as I took off my clothes, a chunk of something gray and wet fell right out of my nose. Ew. Gross. I know, it's disgusting. I stared at it amazed and thought, I should be feeling pain. Well, wouldn't you? If you just lost a little piece of brain? He thinks he's losing his brain. He thinks that fell out of his nose. Oh my goodness. This kid needs to go to STEM, right? Or at least kindergarten, because you guys know better than that. So now today I'm sitting here enjoying Dr. Seuss and suddenly I realize a tooth is coming Loose! Raise your hand if you've got a wiggly tooth. Not me. Hopefully not me. But he's like, oh no, I got a wiggly tooth. I wiggle it, amazed, dismayed. So dismayed is more like worried again. So he's like, oh, this is not good. Too horrified to speak. Without my teeth, how can I eat? <sighs> Already I feel weak. Now I'm really worried. I'm as scared as I can be. Because finally what's happening is very clear to see. The glue that holds our parts together isn't holding me! Ah! you have glue holding to you together? I hope not. Oh my goodness. What happens when you take a bath if glue is holding you together? Because then wouldn't it wash off? This kid. I don't know. And now I'm thinking to myself, what's next in line to go? Might be my eyeballs. Might be my ears. Might be my eyeballs. How's a kid to know? One day I might be playing ball and have my arm fall off. Or maybe I could lose my head if suddenly I <coughs> cough. Well, hopefully he covers his mouth when he coughs because we don't need to be spreading germs, right? Quite soon I'll be in pieces in a pile without a shape. Thank goodness dad keeps lots and lots and lots of masking tape. 
It's all that stuff that you guys love to use in STEM so much. All that tape. I know, because we get lots of masking tape. What? You forgot to tell me teeth fall out? And when they do, some brand new teeth will soon begin to sprout? His parents are reading a book called Parenting for Beginners. Hopefully your parents have read that book and told you that your teeth will fall out. My hair, my skin, and everything. There's nothing I should fear. So all of me is normal. Phew, that's really good to hear. Then tell me, what's this yellow stuff I got out of my ear? His expression really makes me laugh because he's making a really funny face. All right, so see, wasn't that hilarious? Parts, it's a good book. Um, today you are going to program your B-Bot, Blue Bots, to go through changes over time. So his changes over time were, you know, he started out as a baby, then he was a kid and he started losing some teeth, and then there's teenage years, and then you grow up and you're an adult, like your mom or dad or your STEM teacher. Um, and then there are changes over technology. Like, if you look at your teacher's desk, they have a landline. That thing's like old. <laughs> and you can pick it up and you have to push the buttons and there's a cord. Um, and now, look at this. Like, this, my phone fits right inside my pocket. Um, so you're gonna program your blue bots to go through changes over time. And I hope you have a lot of fun with that. And I hope you enjoyed the story because it, I kind of have a soft spot for it in my heart. You guys have a great day.